This video is going to be about me taking apart this grand piano and trying to fix it. Um, but to tell you a little bit about why I got started, I wanted a piano and I started looking on Craigslist because I figured they'd be cheaper on there and I found quite a few that were cheaper on there. But most of the ones that were inexpensive, um, they had some problems with them. Almost all of them had aesthetic damage. Uh, especially to the case and around the exterior, um, but also quite a few of them had sticking keys uh, or keys that were stuck or would not play. And so I started to research on uh, different uh, websites and forums and also on YouTube, found quite a few videos that documented uh, fixing those problems or different ways to fix those problems. And as I've gone through with this baby grand piano, I found a lot of those to be helpful, so I wanted to uh, kind of document my own findings and, and some of my own experiences with the piano as I go along um, because they have been successful. So I wanted to share that with you guys. I'm going to start out by uh, showing you how to take it apart, but first I wanted to show you a little bit of the cosmetic damage. Most of the damage is a little bit difficult to see. Um, it's, the lighting isn't good enough to really see the scratches. You can see a few blemishes along this part where the the lid has been shut and uh, left some marks on the piano and then another little scratch down here. Uh, but the scratches do go all the way around the outside just to give you an idea. Uh, here's the piano bench. Yeah, those are all scratches. So uh, The rest of the piano is not as bad. I think this bench was used just it was in storage. Uh, I think st stuff was just stacked on top of it. So, like I said, not everything is as bad as that bench, but that gives you an idea that it uh, it does have some some imperfections on it. Also, there's some markings on the cast iron plate, some places where the paint has chipped off a little bit, and then of course a lot of places where it's really dirty. And I think previously it was. Uh, it was repainted, but it wasn't, uh, the blemishes weren't taken care of before that. So those are the things we're going to try to accomplish, try to uh, pick a new stain and, and restain the bench and the rest of the case. Now I'll show you how to start taking it apart. One of the first things, of course, you know, you're going to lift up the, the key guard and start looking at what all's in here. Of course, you probably will have already looked at your keys to see what kind of shape they're in. Uh, but obviously, if you've looked at anything else, one of the first things that needs to come off is this piece right here. And uh, on mine, uh, there's about four or five different screws along the bottom. Um, and you, once you undo those, that's not all you have to do. It won't just fall out, but pretty much you can just lift it out. There are some pegs on the bottom that hold it in place, so it's not just going to come off. Now's the tricky part. Uh, on some of these I hear you can kind of you know, pull them out a little bit and you'll see a screw that you can undo. That wasn't the case with mine. I have to do a little bit of uh, finagling to get it out. And pretty much what you have to do is there it's attached to the two blocks on each side of the keys. Uh, you need to get this part at an angle so that you can lift those and start to kind of pull them out. So what it looks like is this. That's all there is to it. Of course that made it look a little easy because I've done that before, but you can see where those two blocks were sitting. One was sitting here, and the other was sitting over here on this side. 